And I'm ready. All right. Go ahead. Hey, how's it going, everyone? This is BT Time. I'm here on my boy Jiraj channel. And uh, I just wanted to bring you a deck tag of an oldie but goodie. A lot of times when new sets come out, people abandon their old decks and they build new ones. I personally like to keep updating my older decks. And with Fighters Collection, I was able to make an update to my original tournament deck. And as you can tell, it's obviously Bermuda Triangles. And what deck is that, you ask? Well, we're about to find out. So, old school starter uh, is Bermuda Triangle Cadet Weddle. Uh, if you don't know what she does, you're probably new to the game. You just put her into the soul and she bounces a Bermuda Triangle unit, which then allows you to get a lot of combos on. This deck runs four, seven stands. And five crit. Because you got to keep them honest with the crit. And four hills. Now, very rarely does it come up that being a drive quartet matters, but it does come up every once in a while when you use 7k boost. Gray ones. We have four Mermaid Idol Ellie. Because, you know, they're perfect guards. Why not? Then we have three Pearl Sisters, Pearlet. Uh, her effect is quite good for early pressure. If you play her, you could give her sister, Pearl Sister Perla, an effect that allows it to soul charge one and draw a card on hit. And with various bounce mechanics, you can actually give this effect to a Perla multiple times so that when it hits, you could draw, you soul charge and draw multiple cards. Three copies of the vanilla. You can use either art, you know, but I prefer this one. Two copies of a promo, Apprentice Idol Karen. She is a when she returned to her hand, counter blast one, soul blast one, draw a card. I use her over the duo uh, promo that is 6k and does the same effect because being 7k actually matters a few times in this deck especially when it talks about putting things behind certain rear guards here comes the first piece of tech that got added to the deck two copies of rain elemental tier now there's already a damage on flipper for Bermuda Triangle uh, Duo, Umbrella, so it's hot, it's cool, but it's only 5k. And because of that, when you put it behind certain units, it loses how good it could possibly be. You know, putting a 5k behind a 9k isn't doing anything for you except for allowing you to hit rear guards. And putting it behind a 10k is definitely not doing anything for you. So, just keep that in mind. But then, you know, you're not really pimping unless you got, oh, look at that, four copies of the SP Top Idol Aquas. Now, if you're not going to run the SP Top Idol Aquas, don't even run the Aqua in your deck. Go with Prism Image Ligurian, because she actually looks cooler than Aqua non-SP. But if you have them, yeah, SP Aquas. Now, granted, when the new support comes out, she most likely won't even make the deck anymore. But, you know, when that happens, I'll do another deck set. We have four copies of Pearl Sisters Perla. Besides the effect that her sister could give her, she also has her own effect of when she hits. You can Soul Blast one and bounce one uh, for you to triangle unit to your hand. Which is useful because it's counter blastless bouncing. It also creates pressure and all that good stuff. Then again, two copies of SP Girls Rock Rio. If you do not have SP Girls Rock Rio, then 
don't run the girls rock wheel. Run a dual white crystal Rica or something. Because, you know, she deserves to be SP in your debt. But her effect is when she's returned to hand, counter blast one, soul charge one, draw a card. And that's part of this combo. Then we go to the other supporting actors. Three Rainbow Light Karen. She is the grade three version of Girls Rock Rio. Uh, she's 10K, so she's actually a little bit more useful in most cases. And when you bounce her, you go counter blast one and soul charge one and draw a card. And most of your effects in this deck is counter blast one. So a damage on Flipper actually does a whole lot. Then we go to the back of grade three slash second best rear guard. DSP, top idol Flores. Now, granted, I can understand how you cannot have this SP in your deck because. No, I can't understand actually. So, <laughs> uh, yes, get them SP people, it's worth it. And then finally, four of the main star, Velvet Voice Reindeer. Now, this is the Somerset promo. If you're not rocking the Somerset promo, it's okay. I actually like the original art better anyway, but hell it's foil. <laughs> <laughs> and I've been waiting a long time for a triple R foil version of her. And because, you know, Bushi wrote his mean and didn't give us Bodies Collection 1, is what I have to settle for. But for her effect, when she attacks, if you reveal a grade 3, you know, either another copy of her, Flores, or uh, Rainbow Light Karen, you get to return a rear guard you control to your hand, and then you get to call a card from your hand to the fill. This allows you to have additional attacks. What this also does is trigger abilities such as Rainbow Light Karen's, uh, Girls Rock Rio, or Prento, Princess Idol Karen. So with that, you get to not only gain additional attacks, but draw additional cards. And, you know, this deck has been out for a very long time. And, you know, have fell out of favor due to its 10k body. But every once in a while, such as last year when everybody thought it was dead, it snuck up in Oceania and won their nationals. So it's still a very good deck. And now that the size of your Vanguard is not quite as important as it used to be, because of uh, the sheer size that Stride gives units, and the sheer size that Legion is, and the fact that the most rear guards are only attacking for 19 um, when boosted without any triggers on it. You could go back to a 10k Vanguard if the payoff is large enough, and I personally believe the payoff here is large enough. We have talent in here, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> talent. <laughs> yeah, you see what I saw, but it was quite talented. It was like the car that jumped off the stage, man. It was crazy. <laughs> Gerard's laughing because he knows I'm telling the truth. It's like the car that jumped off the stage. Now go watch your shy deck, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so what made this deck good, again, in my opinion, is the strides that came in Fire Scratcher. And the first one being four copies of Rain Element Madu. Now, Madu serves double purpose here. It may actually have one cut for Blizzard, but right now I'm going to stay at four. The purpose of Madu, one, is that he actually gets his effect off all the time instead. Because Reindeer is 10, because Flores is 10, and that's what you're going to usually be riding on. Um, Madu will be strolled out, and then you're going to get back the card that you use to stride, which will allow you to then stride from Madu again the following turns. And so he's free stride, plus you get three cards off his drive check, so that equals card advantage. Because most strides are a uh, break even, but you get the benefit of the three drive checks. Madu is a plus one. And, you know, he's a good card. And then, last but not least, I have four Legend of the Glass Sliver Hammers. 
allegedly black shoe in English. And what she does is when she is strode, you can return to the mirror triangles from your field to your hand, which we all discussed allows you to then gain more cards. So with the right field setup, she actually even provides more card advantage than our good buddy Madu here. And that's saying a lot. But she does require setup. And if your field isn't right, she's not going to give you the same level of benefit. But she's very good. She's very good. Now, the other reason why, just going back to Madu real quick, that he's in the deck, is that you're going to be striding him a couple of times early. You're going to be getting effects off from uh, Reindeer and various other cards. And because of that, if you have at least two copies of him strode, he then makes him good. Now, if you haven't had strode three copies before you got a copy of him, it makes him amazing because he counts each face up copy of a Cray Elemental for the same uh, Soul Blast too to inflict that many damage. That's why a Blizza might be checked in here in the future, just so I could Blizza flip a Madu. I'll be left with only two to use, but then he comes on right away. So just a thought. Or I could keep off for remove a glass slipper for a Blizza to have three modules to use and still have them counter blast, uh, um, counter charging two cards. Plus, because of the way she requires setup, she's going to probably end up going down to two anyway when the new set comes out for the uh, single R uh, stride that has the on hit effect. And maybe. Maybe Victoria, but right now I'm not thinking Victoria. So uh, that's our deck check for today. An update on Velvet Voice Reindeer. Uh, and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.